Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if your Steam application is lagging or running slow on Windows 11 in 2023. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is simply to restart the Steam application. To do this just click on the arrow in the lower right corner, right click on the Steam application and select the exit option. Afterwards just restart Steam and then you can check if the problem still persists. This is super simple but it can solve a lot of issues. Moving on, another great solution is to clear the Steam's web browser cache. Now to do this open up an instance of Steam and afterwards click on the Steam tab in the top left corner and click on the settings option. Now in here on the left pane you have the web browser category. Just click on that and afterwards on the right side you have a button that says delete web browser data. So just click on that one and afterwards you can try to check if the problem still persists. If it doesn't work properly still, what you can do is head over to the downloads category on the left pane and then select the clear download cache button. This might resolve issues downloading or starting apps with the Steam application and that's pretty much it. You can then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to troubleshoot the internet connection. This could also be a cause for Steam lagging. So to do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon, afterwards click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now in here select other troubleshooters and the last thing you have to do is select the run button next to internet connections. Windows will now try to detect any issues and if you have any it will fix them automatically. You can then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on another great solution is to adjust the proxy settings. Now to do this press the Windows button then simply type internet options and make sure to select it from the search results. In here, in the Internet Properties window, click on the Connections tab and afterwards select the LAN Settings button. Now the last thing you have to do in here is simply tick the box next to Automatically Detect Settings, then press on OK and lastly apply an OK to save the changes and then you can check if the problem still persists. Next, another great solution is to repair the Steam application. Now to do this right click the Windows button and select Terminal as an administrator and then in here make sure to copy paste the following command from the description below. But in here make sure that the location of your Steam folder is the proper one. I used the default installation location for Steam so make sure that if you installed it on a different location to input that one in here. Now just press on enter and then wait until the procedure is finished. Steam will try to repair any corrupted files or problematic files and then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to simply reinstall the Steam application. To do this press the Windows button then select settings and afterwards click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side select the installed apps category. Now in here just scroll way down until you find the Steam application and what you have to do is click on the three dots next to it and select the uninstall option. Now after uninstalling the Steam application just head over to your default browser and access the official Steam page. You can also find the link in the description below and just click on the green install Steam button. Now the last thing you have to do is click on install Steam once again and this will prompt a download procedure. So make sure to choose a location preferably on your desktop and afterwards click on save to save the setup and from here on you can just click on the Steam setup, follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. You can then check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative we highly recommend you to try out Restoro, which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thank you.